what you're doing, but you can do it. Welcome. Hello. Tim. Melissa, good to see you. Good to see you. Here we are at the 2014 Vandalia, Ohio Air Show Parade and happy to be here. Thanks for the invite. Thank you for joining us. Thank we you. are very happy to uh, be out here filming this year's parade. Yeah. And our wonderful volunteers that is brave in the heat yes. and humidity. <laughs> it's always hot at air show, isn't it? Always. Yes, always, always. So hey, and it's begun. The parade has begun. It has. So uh, let's see. The uh, Vandalia Police Department just went by. And here we look like we have the 82nd Airborne yeah, that's nice. uh, guys here. And they are called the carbines, or carried by this color guard, are the M1A1 holding stock model made for our parachute units and a wool board. Yeah, <laughs> manufactured that. That's in easy for you to say. Here in the Vandalia in 1944. Look at that. Membership in the 82nd Airborne Division. Association is open to anyone in the military qualified as either a parachute or a glided, glider rated. Now, um, that the, the, the Jeep, would you, wouldn't that be cool to have a Jeep like that? That would be awesome. It definitely would. And, wouldn't that uh, be nice? The gentleman riding looks like he's very comfy in it. Yes, he's having a good time. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to see our military out here, and yep. we uh, send our thoughts and prayers to all the military around the world. Exactly. Thank you for letting us do parades like this. They weren't exactly. doing what they were doing, we wouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. That is very true. And here and comes the 2014 Grand Marshal. Melissa, go ahead, take it. All right. I'm here for color. You go ahead. I'm well, here to watch. You go ahead. We have Robert Bob Childs. He was born in Dayton, Ohio. And after graduating Bob uh, from Roosevelt High School, Bob joined the U.S. Army and served in the Army of Occupation in Germany for two wow. years. He and his wife, Thea, have been married for 61 years. <laughs> So we want to wish uh, Bob uh, hellos and thank you for being the Grand Marshal of the parade. Yeah, thank you for your service very much. And by the way, we are in Vandalia, the Crossroads of America, you know that. We are. We now, are. why is it called the Crossroads of America? Well, you know, Route 40 came through here. That was National Road at one time, and now we got 70 and uh, 75, which is like, you know, huge as far as commerce and traffic and the economy. And by the way, speaking of the economy, before we move on to the next item here, you know, the air show brings so many people in, and people go to the restaurants and stay at hotels. And it's just an awesome, awesome thing. It brings a lot of money to where we need it right here. It sure does. It sure does. Okay, what's next? We have the city of Vandalia Mayor uh, Arlene Sutzer, and also the Vice Mayor Candace Farst, and the member of Vandalia City Council. We want to welcome everyone to Vandalia. Say hello to Arlene, Candace, and Bob Allers, Mike Blakesley, David Brumsman, David Gerhardt, and Dave Lewis. And there went, we just saw McGruff. There's McGruff the crime dog. Take a bite out of crime. Uh, let's see, the Vandalia Fire Department. Boy, these, are, these guys are like the uh, modern day heroes, aren't they? What would we do without our fire department? You, that's a beautiful view right there. And I bet all the uh, firefighters uh, polish that truck yes. right up. It's very shiny. <laughs> You just don't want one of those pulling up to your house. I mean, that's a bad sign. No, not at all. Well, I think coming up in the next show, it's one of your buddies. Oh, now look there. Now, you know, let me tell my Mike Turner story. Of course, Congressman Mike Turner, he's the mayor of Dayton forever. And Mike and I actually at one time looked alike. Looked alike. So that's I would right. go out to the airport and welcome people home as the mayor of Dayton. Hi, Mike. How you doing, uh, Jim Booker? I mean, uh, Congressman, how are you? There he is. Good to see you. Welcome. In a beautiful car. That car is awesome. Look at that. You know, he riding has, in style. Yeah. Mike has done a lot for uh, the Dayton community uh, by being the mayor. And you know, he uh, in Washington, Mike serves on subcommittee chairman on the House Armed Service Committee, and he's an advocate for Wright Pat. And so we want to thank him for being here and right behind him. You know, Ohio State Senator yeah. uh, Bill Beagle is here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like he's got his dogs out there, and there he goes. Yeah, he is with the 5th Senate District, covering all of Miami and Preble counties, as well as part of Dark and Montgomery County. So we appreciate him coming in. 
And uh, coming up next is State Representative Mike Henney, and he is a resident of Clay Township and current state rep for the 40th District. And the district includes Inglewood, parts of Clayton, Vandalia here, as well as Huber Heights, Riverside, and Dayton. Now this is, you know, you know we both live in the city of Dayton. We do. So this is our, our, our mayor, Nan Whaley, and she's actually out of our jurisdiction. So Nan, we're gonna have to ask you, Hi, Nan. How are Hello, you? Nan. You're out of your jurisdiction. Who's your? Oh, Bucks, Bucks Braun is the driver. Oh. Long time, long time radio personality, Bucks Braun. I didn't even see him in there. Well, I believe. Check his license, Nan. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe shopping. that is uh, Bucks's uh, Nan's father-in-law. Yes, that's Correct? right. That's right. She's married oh, uh, to, to Bucks' son. Yeah. So. Well, coming uh, up next is uh, our buddy uh, Carl Keith. I'm a Montgomery County auditor. And you see his name on the gas pumps. We do, yeah. You see his name on the gas pumps all the time. He is Carl running King. again, and uh, we wish him all the best. Hi, Carl. By the way, Steve Ross on the handheld camera there, he's doing a heck of a job for an old guy like that. He's doing okay. He's doing he right. was born to be. He was, a wasn't he? Hello, Kitty. Hello, Kitty. Uh, Greg Bush. Uh, served in Montgomery County as clerk of court since uh, 2007. And he works with uh, and provides first rate leadership for the office and exceptional services to the citizens. So there's great. We appreciate all our elected officials being out here. It's kind of nice to see them here because they're always in their office doing stuff. And it's nice to see them out uh, uh, with us. And exactly. this, is, this, is, yep. this is great. And plus, they're handing out candy. Uh -huh. How come they don't? Bless your heart. They're, well, look, the, they're forgetting the hosts. Great. There we go. And we have the uh, parade sponsor of Abbey Credit Union that's here in town in Vandalia. And Right behind uh, them, look at these gorgeous horses that, that Abbey Credit Union is carrying. Beautiful. Are those draft horses? I'm not. I'm going to get calls on this, but I think that's draft. Those are draft horses. Kind of the cousin to the Clydesdales. Okay. The smaller I was, cousins, yeah. I believe. Oh, and here's Dan Foley. Dan. Mm -hmm. Dan, how are you? Look, you got the wife. He's got his wife walking. <laughs> Dan, get out and walk and switch places. Dan Foley, of course. <laughs> I know. <laughs> running for county commission again. Dan does a heck of a job down there with Judy Dodge uh -huh. and Deb Lieberman running our county and uh, keeping everything under budget and on track. Yeah. So that's good. Dan that's is good. Uh, awesome and he's a big supporter of DATV. Who... Oh, and she's bringing us candy. You got <laughs> Wonderful. Cut to, cut to the camera of the host, guys. Look. Thank you. Thank you, darling. There we go, right there. Well, you didn't see it, cheers. but we got cheers. We got. Well, and, and Debbie here we Lieberman. Have Debbie. Debbie. Oh. Give me a hug. <laughs> Drop that whole thing off. Debbie Lieberman, good to see you. Of course, Debbie, Debbie County Commissioner, good to see you. And you, the dog's name? Leah. Leah the dog. Oh, God, All love right. you. Just keep a thing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, coming up behind him is another buddy of yours, is Jeffrey uh, Froelich, Judge uh, Jeffrey. It's old home week. <laughs> I'm actually going to see the judge Monday. We're getting together for lunch. Is it Look just lunch this. or are you in his uh, No, I'm not. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. Moving right along. Oh, well, coming judge up is yeah, yeah, Francis you know. McGee. Daughter of? Um, one of our past mayors. Yeah, past mayor. Yes. Of course, Mayor McGee. I mean, everybody mm -hmm. remembers Mayor McGee. Oh, yeah. She is the general division of the Montgomery County Courts of Common Pleas, and she is one of 11 judges in that division handling all the felony cases and civil cases, having a value of 15000 or more. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, and we get a look at the uh, passenger in Judge McGee's truck. Great, we, we have get a Batman shot of that. We got Batman the, uh, in there. In the car. Awesome. And they're still handing out candy. Now we got a little lull in the action because they're mm -hmm. stopping down here to hand out. They are going to do some uh, recognition of uh, the um, parade uh, chairman. Like eating. bandits. Look at yeah. this. It's great. So, but uh, and here's awesome. more. So. Steve Ross throwing in more candy. <laughs> but you know, this is a fun, uh, a fun night, fun afternoon, late afternoon. And remember, the air show parade is always the Friday. Oh, the weekend of the air show. Yep. So, uh, and uh, DATV, we're out here filming with our great volunteers. We want to thank oh. uh, Nick, James, here, Chuck, Rusty, and Bill, and Patrick. And, and right all, now, they're coming all up over, in the plane. They're this, all up in the plane. I can tell you what these yeah, guys are. Yeah, you flew with these, these guys. These are the uh, Team Aero Shell. And uh, I flew with these guys earlier this afternoon. We're going to be showing some footage of that perhaps uh, later on in the parade. But, uh, I went up in one of the planes um, this afternoon and 
took a, now, how a was ride. That? How was that? It did you was, eat before you went? I did not eat. Um, I was not sure what to expect how the plane was going to be, <laughs> I don't but think I would um, eat. we were great. And while uh, we were going up in the air, uh, they did a, um, a flip, so we went upside down, nice. and that was quite interesting. And then you're glad you didn't eat. Yes. After that, I was it? glad I didn't eat. Tummy kind of turned around, but I loved it. The guys were great. They're going to be. Uh, performing uh, in the air show um, they do every year and so I want to thank them team Aeroshell for uh, uh, yeah, allowing me you. to yeah. get in the ride Did with you get them. to take over the stick as they say no you no didn't I could have and I, I told him I'd prefer not to I wanted someone more experienced so well that's good and speaking of now, experience yeah. yes judge uh, uh, Dennis, Dennis Atkins, Atkins lots of experience mm -hmm. And there's a judge. And you know, he is very strong voices for our veterans. He founded uh, and is the judge for the Veterans Treatment Court, the first kind uh, in his community. So we want to thank uh, Judge Atkins right. for what he does for um, all the veterans in our community. Yep, does a heck of a job. It's nice to see everybody out here today. It really is. You know, great weather. The heat's not too bad. It's sunny out. Um, the crowd is humongous. We are told that a lot of the uh, the uh, fans come out days before to set up their set chairs. Set up their chairs, yep. kind of like holiday at home in Kettering. And you know, a quick plug for DATV, you guys are everywhere, always out covering the events, as we did years ago when I was there, yep. and you're yep. still keeping it up, and hats off to DATV. So whatever, whatever time you're watching this, make sure you support DATV, keep tuning into the shows, and maybe come over and, uh, and take a workshop, exactly. learn how to make your own exactly. show. All right. We can hear what's coming up next. This is the Butler High School Marching Band and Color Guard and Kick Line. And here is the pride of Butler High School, the Butler Marching Band, Color Guard, and Kick Line. The band has 75 participants and is directed by Kurt Westfall. They perform at home, away football games, numerous parades, and compete in all the Ohio Men's State Band Association competition circuit. Let's listen. Of course, as soon as we say listen, they stop playing. But, you know, we need to work on the timing a little bit. But anyway, they do a great job always at the football games. And there we go. Well, here comes the cheerleaders, so let's see them all smiles. Were you a cheerleader? I, no. I okay. tried. I did was you? going to and decided I did not have the moves that they uh, that they Moves, moves like Jagger? Moves like Jagger? No. Couldn't do that? And there they are. You, could, you couldn't have a football, basketball game, what have you, without the cheerleaders. Uh -huh. so there they are. And they always do yeah. a nice job. Supported well by the parents and the school yeah. and, of course, all the fans out yeah. there, too. The uh, pride of the... You look like you could just jump right out there and do it. By the way, a big hats off to our crew too. You guys are doing a heck of a job. You get camera yep. people, all volunteers, which is awesome. Yep. And uh, you and the community can uh, come in and uh, get involved with DATV and take our workshops and be on our video crew because we go to exciting places and do yep. things like the festival and the, um, uh, the air show activities as well as um, sports. And we do all the festivals downtown and yeah. children's You're Christmas everywhere. parade. We're doing You're that everywhere. pretty soon. If there wasn't a DATV, if I may brag, I would not have had a 30-year broadcast career. So there you go. So thank you, DATV. Yep. And look, they're applauding that. Thank you very much. Boy, Burger King's getting a good plug there, aren't they? Look at that. They're right here. Well, we're right smack dab on National Road in Vandalia. And you know what's nice, too, is the... Uh, the businesses, a lot of the businesses will shut down early, uh, no, and it's, it's nice, I mean, because, and, and like we are the Vandalia Carryouts letting us use their lot, I mean, it's really nice that they do that, and they let people park in their lots there and, and set up, so it's a big community feel, it's it, nice. it really is, and we want to thank Vandalia Carryout yeah. for allowing us, the, the last time we uh, videotaped it, they had us out, so we want to thank them, and uh, yeah. the whole community, it's, it's great to be a resident of Vandalia. And there's nothing like community in the Miami Valley. Exactly. There really isn't. We, we live in a great place. Mm -hmm. And here we have the uh, more uh, aviators. We've got smaller aviators here. Yeah, it looks like the uh, elementary uh, elevators. Yeah. Aviators. Or elevators. elevators the, the, what's yeah. kind of aviation? It goes up and yeah. down. 
Um, and then we've got, uh, let's see here, uh, Boy Scout of America Pack and Troop 307. There they are. You know, I got a neighbor, both of his boys became Eagle Scouts. And you know, it's tough to do. It's a lot of studying and it's a lot of uh, hard work. And he's got great kids. I wish my girls would have done that. But that's a whole nother story. We don't even want to go there. But I was a brownie when I was a Were you child. a brownie? I was a brownie. So you weren't the cheerleader, you were the brownie. I was a brownie. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's yeah. that's good too. I was just a troublemaker. So that's a whole nother, that's they, another, they, that's they next year's parade. There, right? yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that next year's parade. <laughs> But there they are, the Boy Scouts and a lot of the leaders. We couldn't do it without them. Yeah. Uh -huh. And next up is, see this is where I add the color. You just read the thing and then I just mm -hmm. add some kind of witty banter. Uh, let's see, this that's is, Jeanette. Uh, Janelle Bowman. Janelle, I'm sorry, I can't have my glasses. Janelle Bowman. And well, she was honored this year as a recipient of the Distinguished Service Award from the President's Club of Vandalia Butler. Janelle and her husband Ralph has three children, Pamela, Sean, and Lacey. She graduated from Butler High School in 2000 and earned an associate's degree in business management at Sinclair. She is the Food for Kids coordinator and oversees the Backpack Club. Local churches, businesses, and groups throughout Vandalia Butler community support the four kids program. So thank you to Janelle for everything that you've done. Yeah, and then Keller Williams, uh, hometown realty, sponsoring the Wright B Flyer. It's about time. No one remembers the hosts. There you go. Keep it Enjoy. coming. Keep Enjoy. it coming. Thank you. Thank you, thank Keller you. Williams, for uh, sponsoring this, too. And there's the uh, yeah. Wright well, uh, B up, Flyer. Yeah, look at this. Um, the Wright B Flyer is being pulled by the real estate professionals and located essentially here in Vandalia. And there's Orville and Wilbur. Right. Yeah. And then bringing up the rear here is, uh, let's see, uh, the Model A Ford Club. Okay. Now look at this. Is that just, could you imagine driving something like that as a I kid? I would have loved to Wouldn't that be cool? Like You'd get that. it all the speed up, yeah. speed up all the way to 30 miles an yep. hour. This is, uh, it's a special feature this year and it's a Dayton Buckeye Model A Ford Club. A 1929 AA towing record driven by Russ Berry. That's coming up behind us here. <laughs> Look at this. And it's hooked onto this record is a Model A Ford Junkyard Dog Look record at that. owned by <laughs> Joe Ayers of Yellow Springs. Another special Model AA Ford is a 1931 Model A Ford fire truck that's coming that, up. Uh, that thing he's towing looks kind of like Mater in car. Remember that <laughs> Mater? The, it does. Doesn't it look like Mater a little bit? That is so interesting. I actually probably, I mean, towed the cars around back in the Look day. Look at that. And the Model A's, of course, Henry Ford's brainchild. They had the Model T's forever yep. and then launched the Model A's and became huge sellers. This is cars. great. <laughs> yep. And they're gorgeous cars. Yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> Pardon, that me. Horn? Pardon me, that wasn't the horn. I was earlier. So yeah. I had some Mexican earlier. I apologize. Well, this is uh, one of the 1931 models and a Ford fire truck owned by Terry Clark of Greenville. And nine other model A Fords are here. All were produced between 1928 and 1931. Hit they your horn. Interesting. Hit your horns. Now, listen to that. You know, it's interesting that people, you know, our age and maybe a little older really love Watch to. Watch it. No, um, I'm kidding, right. Oh, I'm saying we're, we're in our prime, you know. They love fixing up these old cars, yeah. you know, that their grandparents uh, have, you know, drove, oh, drove yeah. back in their and day. And harder and harder to find parts for these things. But these yeah. are dedicated folks. Maybe their parents or grandparents had these cars mm -hmm. and uh, just fell in love with them. And as, as my dad would say, they don't make them like they used to. No, not Look at at all. all. Always neat to see them here in the parade. Mm -hmm. This kind of looks... A little, I don't know if we have a shot of it, the, the yellow rims kind of looks like a Bonnie and Clyde deal there, a little gangster car. You're right, it right. does. And here comes a fire truck I was just talking about earlier. Well, friends of Bear Mill, yeah. Have you been to Bear Mill? I have not. Up near uh, Greenville? Okay. Oh, it's great. Uh, it's a great place to take a day trip and head up there. And there's now, a friends of Bear Greenville Mill. Greenville does have a great place called Maywright's Oh, Burgers. yes. Oh, I need to go. We haven't been in a long time. Have you seen the chewing gum on the outside yes. of the wall? That That's enough to turn your appetite, but that's a tradition it's up there. It's a tradition. Yeah. I think a piece of my gum was there the last time I went. <laughs> was it really? I'll spot it out next time I go. Now, look at this thing. Look at this pink. If you have uh, your color TVs at home, it's pink. If you have black yeah. and white TVs, so trust me, So this is the uh, Nurturing Nest. 
and it is a early care and education center located here in Butler Township and they're celebrating 25 years of providing high quality early care and education. Our four star rated center provides early care and education for children ages six weeks to third grade. So come and visit them. Wow, look at this. This is very interesting. The R.B. Jurgens. no, that's that's already gone. What is this thing? Look at that. This oh, this is all part of it. Okay, this is the uh, R.B. Jurgens contractor. And it's a local contractor whose primary business is roadway improvements and bridge constructions and power plants. Look how pink this is. I wonder if they sell Mary Kay, too. Well, it's because, you know, the pink cattle. They could. But, yeah, look at that. Well, you could see that thing coming down the road, you? definitely you? could. Uh, looks like they are a big supporter of Pink Ribbon Girls, thus the pink truck and trailer. Yeah. And they got candy on the back, and they're not coming over. Kroger is, you know, everywhere in the Miami Valley, and they have a great store here uh, located off the National Road. I spend a lot of time in there. I do, too. Uh, yeah. And on the weekend, Kroger points uh, doubles. Oh, <laughs> get those gas points. That's when I do my grocery shopping all through the summer. Kroger's weekend has uh, double uh, gas points, so definitely try to shop at Kroger's when you're doing your major shopping. That's a nice van. Now that is that is a very large uh, shopping cart. Mm -hmm. And you just saw a second ago some of the crowd here waving at the camera, having a good time. Families out, grandparents and kids and moms and dads. It's great to see. You know, I could probably fill my cart with that. I think you know last what? Last a couple years, maybe. Yeah, that's a, that's a very that would be tough to push, wouldn't it? Maybe you would need the Kroger van to bring that home. Very hey, and true, now we've yeah. got. Uh, let's see. Uh, is this Max and Irma? This is Max and Irma. Yeah. Look here. Well, not that woman there, but they're coming up. There's some more Kroger folks. Well, and we saw. Uh, ah, I know who this is. This looks like. Uh, Isn't that Max and Irma now? Okay, that this is Max and Irma. Yeah. These uh, of course, people Max dressed and up in the costume. The, I believe yeah, that's Max on, and Irma uh, in the back of the pickup right. truck there. On Miller Lane, Max and Irma. Oh, okay. Nearby where we are right now. They have uh, great food. Oh, they do, don't they? They do. A good burger from there sounds good right now. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I know, just Kroger going by. I'm thinking of the Kroger chicken, and now and now you know Max and Irma. I'm thinking of hamburgers. They got to stop. <laughs> in the background shot, you got the Waffle House and Kentucky Fried Quit already. I think we've already found out where we're eating. <laughs> we're just going to go up and down <laughs> the lane here. But there's Max and Irma. They're yeah. out. I wonder who's at the restaurant cooking if they're here. Maybe they close down for the day. Uh, you know that could be come too. Out and that enjoy could the be. Parade. Parade. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Next up is the Historical Society yep, of Van Dyke. Well, oh, there's some folks yeah, uh, waving. And you know, it's the truth, preserving our past. And I'm big on local history and, and, and preserving local history and teaching local history because we don't want our kids to, to grow up going, what happened in Dayton and what happened in Van Dyke exactly. and what happened? Exactly. So it's so important what they do. And, and this uh, is hats off. Yeah. Thank you. They uh, were founded in 1976 and uh, they have a history of Vandalia and Butler Township to educate folks about, um, you know, the heritage of Vandalia. Oh, yeah, lots up here. And Miss Mary Huddinger gifted 8.5 acres located at 336 East Alkine Springs Road to the Society in 1980 when her health required her to move Christmas lighting display. It's from the day after Thanksgiving to the day before Christmas. So you can find out more information at www.historicalsocietyvandalia-butler.org. Uh, oh, that's the longest address. You Google it, you'll find it. Yeah. Uh, the Digital Cowboy Computers folks are here with a horse-drawn uh, wagon. Mm -hmm. Boy, they, there's nothing like horses, though, are they? No, They're all shiny all. and clean. They got their nice horseshoes on. They Those are, are beautiful, beautiful animals, yep. aren't they? Well, the Digital Cowboy Computers is the hometown computer sales and service center, and it's located here in Vandalia at 318 East National Road. And uh, they are open uh, until 1 a.m., so if your computer breaks, you can oh, go in nice. and get free and repair And it always seems estimates. to break about the time everything else closes, exactly. so that's good enough. 
There's a nice plug and we appreciate them being yes. here. They also were a 2014 Chamber Partner Sponsor. We want to thank them. Oh. I bet you heard that at home. Mm -hmm. Well, and this coming up here is the Vandalia Youth Theater. Yep. It's been serving in the Miami Valley uh, youth for over 22 years. They are proud to present the 2014 season Pee Wee Show, Winnie the Pooh Kids, the Junior Show, Rogers and the Hammerstein, Cinderella. The Senior Show is you're in our town. Come check out these talented folks the last weekend in July at Northridge High School. Oh. No. Well, we hope you're enjoying the 2014, okay, enough with that. We're trying to talk, I'm kidding. The 2014 uh, Air Show Parade here in Vandalia, right here on DV, DATV. Melissa Constantine, Jim Booker along here. Thanks for tuning in and watching. We're having a great time. We Definitely hope you're not. here and get to see the replay of the parade. Well, and coming up here is the uh, Dayton Children's Hospital. You know, they have, uh, they're the only children's hospital in the region devoted to caring for infants, children, and teens, specially trained ped pediatric ex experts and they also have the uh, mobile intensive care unit transports more than 1500 newborns and children from hospitals in a 20 county area here in ohio you know i do a lot of stuff with the ronald mcdonald house which is right across the street yeah. and it's so nice to know if you do have a problem with your your child your infant what have you and you're in the hospital you got a great place to stay right across the street it's exactly. so nice and mcdonald's yep. speaking of mcdonald's and big supporter of the ronald mcdonald house that's the little change i'm sorry not to interrupt the little change things at, at the mcdonald's you throw your change exactly. in and it all goes to the I ronald do it all McDonald's. The time, so there's the man look at ronald right there now, now that's an interesting shot him going by the burger king yeah, that's kind of to our uh, cameraman steve ross steve doing a heck of a job there yeah. steve's earning his keep oh no Look what's coming up here. This is interesting. This is interesting. And you have well, the notes. Oh, well. This is, would be the, folks, we're just uh, reading it as they gave us here, G gave us the info. So the uh, Vacation Bible School. Okay, yeah, it's um, the First Baptist Church of Vandalia. There you go. And the mission for the week will have you digging into the facts and the evidence vault, craft lab, app room, communication hub, and training grounds. That's an interesting, so, yeah, look at that. First Baptist Church of Vandalia, they look like they have a great uh, program Get the message out. Does he have like a jetpack on? Is he going to take off? It oh, looks like that. Melissa, look, the Batmobile. Oh, my favorite. Oh, and that's Carl's Body Shop. I don't know if you got the Batmobile or you maybe it already went by and you saw it. But of course, uh, Matt Miller and the gang at Carl's Body Shop completely restored this, or actually built it from scratch. Okay. And did a heck of a job on that. And we got Batman. There they are. We got Batman and Robin in there. And that's in the '60s. That's my Batman and Robin that I grew up with. With Adam West and Burt Ward. Exactly. There it is. Did a heck of a job with that. Nice to see Matt and Carl's Body Shop. Well, coming up here is the Bait Young and Gifted Drill Team. Should we listen? I think we should. Steve Ross right in our face with our wonderful uh, 
Oh, was that Steve Camera, making that, that noise? is the man. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I could show him a thing or two with that camera. <laughs> I bet you could, Jim. <laughs> have to have a uh, not so close, Steve. Not have so a contest close. after the parade. Now, don't get run over, Steve. Uh, look at this. The uh, Dayton Vandalia Air Show is uh -huh. represented here. And this is uh, sponsored by Spears Expediting. People, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Well, that's a big rig. That is a big rig. Sleeper cab, now, that's the way to travel. You travel that with your significant is. other. One person drives, the other sleeps. You got TVs in, I mean, oh boy. Wouldn't that be awesome? No, I think I can handle that. I think that would, you and John, would you and jo John do the driving and you hang in the. We could do that. We've uh, we've driven from uh, Las Vegas to uh, Dayton a few years back, and that was uh, quite interesting. That'd be the way to do it. Mm -hmm. And then you could put your car in the back there. Let's get your car out. All right, exactly. I'm rambling here. Who do we have here? So this, this is the uh, Willis Jeep. It looks yeah. like. Yeah. Right here we have the 1949. Willis Jeep, and it is owned by uh, Bob Beach of Springfield, Ohio. Bob is happy to be here today and to be honored. Richard Goody of New Carlisle is also with them. And we want to thank him for coming up. And right behind Bob is the uh, GE Aviation Systems. Oh, there he is. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Hi, Bob. And I would assume he was in the U.S. Air Force, and we appreciate his yeah, service. Looks like that. So, the GE Aviation System is proud to be a sponsor of the Veteran Dayton Air Show, presented by Kroger's this weekend. Oh, and that's we'll, right. We forgot to mention that Kroger's a big sponsor of the air show. Yeah, and Veteran is as well. GE's Electric Power Headquarters is right here in Vandalia. It is a center design, development, manufacture, and repair advanced electrical power systems for civil and military aircrafts. Just two of GE's generators can provide enough power to light up the entire neighborhood. I need one of those. I could, I could take well, yeah, one of those. You, you just recently had some power. We did. Our power went out uh, Monday and Tuesday uh, from the uh, storms that we recently had, so that was interesting going 24 hours without power, but we got through it. They could do it back in the early 1900s or 1800s. I can do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the truth. And of course, the Top Gun theme, Kenny Loggins, got out that's all connected to aviation. What a exactly. great movie, still a great movie. Well, coming up here is the Tip City Mum Festival Queen. Standing in as the uh, Mum Festival Queen is our third attendant, Haley Sanders. She is from Northmont High School. And that looks and like she is uh, followed by this year's Miss Congeniality. Clara Clips oh, is also Clips. from yeah. Northmont. There we go. Oh. So we hope again you're enjoying the air show parade like we are. We're having a good time. We're having a great time. You know, I worked with this young lady when she was like 10 years old. It was unbelievable. So that shows you how long ago that was. Been... How, how old were you when you walked in the door? I was 15. 15 years old and I was 16. No, and I was a little We've older. been there uh, a very long time. Very long time. Yes. And uh, Haley Sanders, did you mention Haley? I'm sorry, she just Steve just had a shot of her. Uh, coming by and look at this blooming but this looks like the partridge family bus but look at this thing now this looks yeah. like this just came from the rose parade in uh, pasadena that is look at that. very interesting look at all those mums and flowers on this now would you say honey go out and water the bus <laughs> i mean what would you do there i mean you yeah. would have to have a fire station oh steve's hose, taking us on think. board yeah, look at that let's see our uh, cameraman look at steve that. roscoe in sir pay attention to the road sir Stop smiling at the camera and take there with it. Nice to see him. Nice shot taking you inside the ATV, taking you in inside the float. It is called inside the, the float. bus. Steve, nice job. You just delayed the parade ten minutes for that shot. Perfect. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now, how long did it take them to do that? But the Tip oh, City Mum Festival. They, I mean, they do a great job up yeah. here. Uh, Choice Comfort Services, they're here. You know, it's nice to see the businesses out. Without the businesses, the economy wouldn't hum. So, you know, you got to obviously an air conditioning or if you're watching this mm -hmm. parade in the winter and your heat goes out. Call Choice Comfort <laughs> Services. They can uh, take care of uh, your, well, heating, cooling, and electrical needs. There you go. 
And then and we've got the, out, the Dayton International Airport. Now, these are the, the, the gentlemen that always make you leave when you're parking in front of the airport. No, they're great people. And I know a lot of the guys at the Air Force Police. It's nice Dayton to see Police, uh, this is the... Uh, oh, look, we got tchotchkes. Great. Thank you. Well, this is the uh, Dayton Airport uh, Police. Now they're smiling. They're normally asking me to leave. No, uh -huh. they're great people. They do a great job. I'm glad to have them. I'm yeah. glad to have them here. They're and stationed of course, right up the street at the uh, airport. Right, and, and, and guarding the airport. That's good to see. That's a fancy uh, new unit they got there. That's nice. Now, this looks like it's the uh, Dayton International Airport Fire and Rescue. Yep. So uh, I'm sure they are hopefully not have to work too much uh, at the airport with any planes come in with any kind of problem. <laughs> Now that could be an insurance problem if somebody slips on the candy, but if they do, just call the State Farm people. Yeah, State Farm here. is great. That's who I've got my insurance with. Do you? And they've uh, got their nice little, uh, what are those, Toyotas? Yeah. What are those? Yeah. Those are sharp little cars. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny to see how all the cars are wrapped now and they've got all the logos on. They're like driving billboards. Mm -hmm. Just the, uh, the design aspect of, of the cars or, or, and, and getting your business logo out there is cool. Well, you guys too with the DATV van. Exactly. We have our uh, one of our vans wrapped. Our other van's gonna, uh, brand new. That's nice. And so we are uh, getting that ready for uh, our upcoming festivals that we cover all through the summer. And you can be a part of that. And you can. You yeah. can call 223-5311. Talk to Dell, and he can tell you all about our workshops as low as fifty dollars. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing to learn no, all not. the state-of-the-art equipment and make your own program. Yeah, now it's all. I mean, some of the equipment's better than uh, some of the local TV stations. Yeah. We won't mention any names. Yeah. <clears throat> so. And look um, at this. Now, could you do that, Alyssa? I can do that. Just this called is your Alyssa, the uh, Renegade Equestrian Drill Team. So here comes the Renegades. They are dedicated to performing precision moves at speed. This award-winning team appears throughout Ohio in the tri-state area. There they are. And look at them. They're standing up on look the horses. Look at that. Look at that. And, and again, beautiful. I love horses. They're just beautiful. Oh. Look at them. That is wonderful. And Sperling is the parade sponsor. Now we've got some golf carts coming up. But now these aren't your ordinary uh, playing 18 holes golf carts. No, not at all. But I could uh, probably uh, take a few of them. Wouldn't that be oh, yeah. nice to have a little mobile? Oh, and they are the Miami Valley's exclusive factory authorized dealer of new Yamaha golf carts and uh, UTVs and go karts. And, and then thanks uh, to them the for Lions them. Club is going by there, and then. Yeah. We thank them for coming by. And Thanks. then we've got the Oktoberfest coming up in, uh, or the Vandalia Oktoberfest, I should say. Yeah, they do a nice job. They do have a great, uh, a great Oktoberfest. We always uh, go to that, and it is sponsored by the city, sister cities of Vandalia. It's a nonprofit local organization dedicated to fostering global friendships. Das Gut! Das Gut, that's all I know. Das Gut. And Bucher's German, that's all I know. Okay. And they have some great food at the, uh, the oh, festival, which will be, uh, looks like uh, September 5th, 6th, and 7th. Yeah, so if you're watching this right before then, or if, if it's afterward, make sure you go next year. And it's right there at uh, the Vandalia, the, the Recreation Center Complex. And Jeff Stevens' band plays there a lot, uh, it's Stranger. So. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. think he sings in German, but he plays no. it. But they, uh, Stranger is a great band, and look who's roller skating. This now, can is you do Skateboard that? of Vandalia. Can you skate still? I can ice skate. I haven't roller skated in, a while. in a, probably since I was their age that's skating right now. Now, seeing the dad in me would go, where are your knee pads? Because I would, look, nobody's yeah, got knee exactly. pads on, but they, yeah. would, they can skate and I can't. But they've been in Vandalia for 38 years. Wow, there's more my speed, that kid yeah. there. I could do that. I, yeah, I definitely would have to have one of those now. That's actually a good age. idea. They are uh, skateboards great to uh, have birthday parties for kids. I've been to uh, been to a birthday party at Vandalia Skate World before, oh, and yeah, the kids great. had a great time. So. And the bookmobile. How many times have we been in the bookmobile, picking out books? Remember when we'd show up to your school, we'd have a ball with that. Yeah, and they are by the Dayton Metro Library Kids Mobile. <laughs> Now what do we have here? We have the Knights of Columbus. Boy, these guys decked out. 
They've got to be hot. <laughs> I was just going to say <laughs> that. I was just going to say that. You stole uh -huh. my line. But you just saw them a second ago. Love uh, their hats. And Great Clips just shot by there. I don't know if you got a quick glimpse, glimpse of Great Clips. You know, a lot of the businesses are out supporting the parade, mm -hmm. which is nice. It makes the economy humming, 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 humming. You got to keep it humming. Uh, now we have, uh, let's see, we're looking through our notes. Folks, we got like a war and peace book of stuff here we're going through, so bear with us. Uh, I'm not sure, but I like that Jeep. Yeah, that is uh, a really cool military Jeep. Jeff's Lawn Service. That must be part of Jeff's Lawn Service. Yeah, this is Jeff uh, Wisman and his uh, beautiful landscape float. Jeff and his crew are responsible for many of the uh, lawns that around the businesses in Vandalia. Oh, yeah. Uh, residential you know, maybe the area. Jeep, though, Melissa, maybe, you know, they do fight weeds. So maybe that has something to do with the fighting then. I'm not sure. That is pretty nice. They have a little Look volcano at that. there yeah. in the middle. Yeah, Volcano so Fountain thanks, uh, or something. Jeff's yeah, Lawn nice. Service for being part of the parade. Now that's that's really cool. Look how he did that. That probably took a few days to uh, put together. Now you think there's somebody underneath there with a pump? Mm -hmm. You think somebody's underneath the line? Yeah, so yeah, that, that took that some really time cool, to do. really cool, Jeff. Jim Booker along with yeah. Melissa Constantine, and I'm an alumnus of DATV back you when are. it was Access 30 Dayton. Jim started, uh, well, was there when I, uh, I started my my time there and it's Keep uh, that quiet on the to year. have you back. Thank we you. We have done this together and Yes, thank you for the end for a long time. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, Jay, uh, is that Spivey Photography just yeah. went by? Have you got a wedding coming up? Yeah, call uh, Jay Spivey phot Photographs here in uh, Vandalia. And then who's that clown driving the car? Oh wait, it is a clown driving it the car. It is. It's Ormus Grotto clown. Clowns, yeah. Who's that clown driving? Watch it. I think he just hey, called me a clown. part of the uh, Masonic group that offers free dental care for special needs and, and that, how children. Nice is you that? know, that is very nice. In the past three years, they have spent nearly $4 million wow. on this project. How about that? that is that is cool? That is wonderful. I'm telling you, you're just asking this community to help out and do stuff, and people come to the rescue. We have a great yeah. community here and a lot of big hearts. So, yeah, Vandalia thank you. and Dayton and all of the communities here in the Miami Valley oh, yeah. are uh, are definitely awesome. <laughs> We're frantically you know? looking through our pages here. We have horses, so we know that. And they're holding yeah. flags, which we know that. Yeah. Well, a few of them were, uh, I think, was out of place. But uh, we want to okay. thank them for coming out. Horses oh, that's the great. cowgirls. I'm sorry. Okay. That's the cowgirls. Are, I apologize, uh, cowgirls. Oh, here comes a little bit of a miniature, yeah. or you know, that I'm looks not like sure. a... Yeah, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. I haven't been on a pony since about uh, 150 pounds ago, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure. Oh, look at it running there, it's running. And then we've got the Crossroads uh, Stables. The horse's mouth did it, <laughs> but they didn't tell us what it was. Oh, and here comes another one. Look at this Now there's the... the miniature ponies. Now, I could ride on that. He's pulling a cute uh, little girl riding on this uh, wagon. How cute is Look that? Look at that. Look at that little pony. Is it my little pony? No. Now, who's this gentleman on camera now? That is one of our uh, great volunteers, One of your great volunteers, Chuck. doing Chuck doing a heck of a job. Yep. He uh, walked in our doors, did not have any experience, and we trained him how and to do this. look at that. He's this. running camera. Yeah. Chuck, can Chuck hear me? No. Chuck, get the shot of the kid with the shovel. Okay, that's okay. But anyway, there's a kid behind the horses with the shovel. Thank uh -huh. you, young man. He's cleaning up what, you know what. Oh, wow, that's great, yeah. Shriners. Well, you know, the uh, Vandalia Masonic Lodge, number 742, is coming up. Wow, those are nice rides, aren't they? Look at that. Now, isn't that always nice to get on the motor during the summer and the uh -huh. wind? Isn't that nice? They those guys are, are having uh, too much fun. They are. I love the hats. I wonder if they let us wear one. You think so? Actually, you know what? They're kind of, it's kind of styling, styling a little bit. Yeah, they are. You know, and uh, yeah, they are going to have some. I don't think they're uh, cool little cars, the small ones they used to oh, uh, gosh, yes. drive around. I'd get in trouble in one of those. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would too. That would definitely. But they're be one of the uh, par uh, parade escorts, so we're glad to see them here. Yeah. And there they are, Antioch Dayton. Good to see you guys. How are you? Thank you. Lodge number seven forty-two. How you doing, Good man. How are you? Great. Beautiful night for a parade. Wait a minute, are we on television still? I'm sorry, I'm yelling at the guy on the float. 
Uh, let's see, we have, uh, I don't know, but that's a sharp looking car. Princess Addie Stevens, and she's okay. the 2014 Patient Ambassador. Hmm. Wonderful. Well, we have a few more coming up here. Hmm. I would assume Patient Ambassador for, uh, I'm not sure, is that Children's maybe or no? The green I'm hornet? guessing, people. Well, here comes the uh, oh, Antioch Shrine Past. Oh, that would be for the shrine, yeah, oh, uh, for the Shrine Hospital. Yeah. There you go, I'm okay. sorry. Duh, it's the heat, people. Yeah, they have uh, a number of um, floats that is part of the uh, Antioch uh, organization. This is the brass band coming up. Let's take a listen. Yeah, let's listen. Hydrating. Yeah. With this heat out here, you, you have gotta to hydrate. Drink. You have to hydrate. The water is going to help us uh, get through, and uh, while we're uh, covering the uh, 2014 air show parade. And then we head to the Vandalia carryout afterwards. No, I'm kidding. We don't do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we but want we to thank, thank, thank again, them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank them for allowing yes. us to uh, park our uh, van and our cameras, our crew here today. It's great of them every time we uh, we take the parade. They're here. We thank them for the booze. No, they're not giving us booze. <laughs> now look at this. This is more my style. Let's see. We got. I'll see if I can pick these out. That's a. Uh, was that a '57? Maybe. My dad had a '57, and he always regretted getting rid of it. That I wish nice. I had it. Yeah. And look at that Pontiac 1973. convertible. 1973. I know it. 1973. You know how I know? How do you know? They had a sign on. There's there. a sign on. You cheated. You didn't look at a thing. You looked at the other thing. Well, that was but, before my time. Uh, no, look I'm just at these joking. Guys. And that's the Antioch Temple. They have all those great before your time. Now, these cars, that's like, what, a 56 Chevy? Yeah, I love Ford? when it says antique and it's like a 67. Oh, what is that? A 65 Pontiac. Pontiac the okay. Antique. Thank you very much. I was five years old at the time, but that makes me feel good. Yeah. But there's well, a classic car. And again, they don't make them like that. No, they, they don't. don't. Make them. Another uh, set of classic cars who uh, enthusiasts that's. Uh, Probably uh, spent lots of thousands of dollars oh. trying to. You know. A lot of these times, you know, you gotta, you can't buy parts. You have to have them custom made for your cars. Exactly. Corvettes. See, look at these. Now the Corvettes, I can handle driving. I think I could too. But see, I, that always, you never know how fast you're going. That's a speeding ticket for me. Officer, I was doing 110. I swear I was going 65. But look at those Corvettes. Are they cool? They are very cool. Back the Corvette, uh, Troy, and Strawberry Festival Queen, Queen, excuse me, Queen Court. And you know, this is you know all still part of the uh, Antioch uh, folks. Also, that here is comes the, the cars. Festival yeah. Court. Here comes the cool cars, the small ones. Speaking of the devil. Now those are really Here they cool. go, and they're going to perform for us. Yeah. Oh, from Scene 75. These are the folks from Scene 75. The largest indoor entertainment facility. Have you been over the facility? Have you been over there? I have not been over Melissa, there Melissa, what are you waiting on? I want to go now because I want to drive those. And they have them in there. Those are super we could do a contest and tape us doing a race and we could go there and see who's the fastest. When I was back in my news days and they opened up, I put one of those little GoPro cameras on the front, drove it around. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. And you have a lot of fun and there's games and, and stuff for all kids and all ages. You really got to try it out. And yeah. great restaurants in there too. Jonah Sandler. Yeah, Jonah yeah, Sandler, the Sandler out. family uh, owns it, and uh, they've done a great job with it. Great. Well, they're right off uh, I-75 here, here in uh, Vandalia, so... Can't miss it. I'm going now. you got to get over there. I'm so there. And play, I'm telling you, the restaurants are... I mean, the food in there is just oh, great. Awesome. There's oh, the look. Antioch. Uh, Hello, the Antioch readers. readers. We're waving at them. Get to wave, too. We get to be a part of that. <laughs> Now the Antioch, boy, if they were in the parade, there wouldn't be any parade. I'll it's like you. went a mile already. 
more they music. They've got about six or seven uh, floats coming up. So. You know, and they do a great job and bring the circus every year, and all the money goes right back to charitable causes. And yeah. They just do a great job. A lot of dedicated people. And they are great. Loving the old time music here, and look at the clowns, and uh, one of them sitting in the uh, little Ferris wheel there. <laughs> That's kind of fun. How come it's not spinning? It's not spinning. Yeah. Did that for 30 years. Well, what are yeah. you talking about? I just you didn't, have the, I just didn't have the makeup. Yeah. Some and you're nice still doing rides. It. I'm still doing it. Uh, attempting to. Now here's some nice rides. And you know, we talk about the classic cars. These guys do the same thing. Polish, shine. Look at those. It's not a mark on them. And they're performing for our cameras. Isn't that nice? That is uh, great to uh, and, have them on board. And you're getting a front row seat at home. You don't even have to leave your house. You're watching it right here on DATV. Thanks, guys, for being in the parade. And you can see, too, if we're talking over the motorcycles here, you can see the huge crowds out here. People come out and look forward to this every year. Put their chairs out days ahead of time. So actually, if you want to come up a couple days ahead of time, pick out some nice lawn chairs, you probably have your, you know, that would be stealing. That's not good. But that the Shriners with more vehicles. Look at these things. Now, those are really cool. I could drive one of those. Oh, no! Mario brother? That looks like Actually, Mario that looks like the Mario up. grandfather, but that's okay. He's here. And look well, at these things. Look at these guys. You know, these are just big so little kids, nice. aren't yeah. they? They're just big little kids. These guys <laughs> are having a ball. <laughs> Oh, now, he's on two wheels there. Is that Snoopy? That's that? Snoopy. Oh. Now, Snoopy looks pretty cool driving this go kart. And look, we got Shrek and what's that Scooby Doo coming up? Huh? Hey, that guy's on two wheels. Wow. We got Shrek and Scooby Doo. Now, oh, Scooby now there's kind of a combination, isn't it? You know, I should know. I'm sure that's a cartoon character that I'm so old now I don't know who it is. And I'm so bad I don't watch cartoons. So there's more of the Antioch Shrine. Now, are you are you old enough to remember the? Okay, enough with the horn, sir. We're on television. Look, I'm yelling at the guy with the horn. Are you old enough to remember the old Monkeys TV show? Yes, I remember that show. And they had the Monkey Mobile. It was kind of like that. That was a lot of fun watching the Monkeys back in the day. It's half the population of the city. If they're all living in Vandalia, they're all, all in the, the parade. Yeah. There. Those are mini bikes. I had one of those as a kid. I have the scars really? to prove that. Really? Yes. The dent in my forehead. Yep. Yeah, that's all mini bikes. That was pre-helmet days. Uh -huh. Well, look at these gentlemen. They're, uh, their helmets are. Uh... Look at that, like the Keystone Cops or something. I'm, yeah, I'd have trouble balancing on those, I think. I think they've got it down pat. Boy, those are tiny little tires on there, aren't they? I stand corrected. It's not Keystone Cops. It's the Antioch Bobbies, like the uh, English police. Uh -huh. Now that I got is, it. That's why the uh, helmet I'm looked, uh, sorry. So yeah. Come to the meetings, Booker. Come to the meetings. And here's a couple of Shriners that acted up, I guess, right? Uh, uh, yes. But they're uh, in the jail thing. They're yeah. in the paddy wagon. Well, you know, we are uh, at the 2014 uh, Dayton Air Show. We're having a great evening. Tons of fans, tons of uh, community members here. We've got a great crew. Our volunteers from uh, DATV is out here. And we want to thank Nick, James, Chuck, Rusty, Bill, and Steve and Eric for uh, providing all the camera work for us.
Nice job, Thank guys. You guys. And you too can be a part of the team. Just call 223-5311. Ask them about the programs. Come on over and run camera. Uh, everything, yeah, really. Everything. Edit, Edit, shoot your correct. own program. Become a star. You can uh, even host your own parade one of these days. How about that? They can be doing you, this right. Wait a minute, then I'm out of a job. I know. On second yeah. thought, you can't do that. That's the one thing that. you can't do. You can do. find another parade, but not Vandalia Not this one, no. And you know what? Can you see the gas price at 371 there on Shell? Now, when this runs in six months, if it's five dollars a gallon, you're gonna look back and go, "Wow, look how cheap gas was back." <laughs> back in you know, June, June of 2014. It's just going up and down, up and yeah, down. It's just, wow. Yeah, just wow. It's fun, isn't it? Makes yeah. it fun when you're filling up. But uh, not to be a downer, but you know the parade kicks off every year. Two days of great aviation acts at the air show. So, and, and then another thing that DATV covers, uh, myself and uh, Patrick yeah. Hughes uh, will be at the air show every year. We do cover the entire air show. Right. Antioch. I'm telling you, what's their gas bill for these vehicles for current out loud? My goodness. And there's the Kentucky Colonels from Antioch. Hello, Colonels. Uh oh. Had an accident there. They got the tow truck ready for them. Yeah, that's kind of nice. They have their own tow truck too, isn't it? Some yeah. more really cool. Uh, more Antioch. More, uh, the Shriners. That's great though. When they say we're going to be in your parade, man, they are in your parade. That is for sure. That is, and they don't do one. all of them, by the way. So this is a coup for Vandalia and the parade here. So we want to thank uh, thank them for coming in. So very neat. We're just kind of, you know, the sun's going down. It's starting to get a little cooler out. Oh, and then here we have the Antioch. Organist? Organist, yeah. Remember Bob Barr? Bob Barr used to play that all the time. God I rest do. his soul. Oh, Bob yes. Barr at Sinclair. I do remember. He was always in doing the children's parade. Too, yes, correct? Bob was always, Bay. always yeah. in the parade. <laughs> so, <laughs> and all of the do, we have enough, guys. do we have enough recording devices and on the card there to have. No, I'm kidding. Let's see, where are we here, Melissa? Oh, this is the uh, Vandalia Rental, so you can come and rent. Uh, oh. oh, give me those Tootsie. I want the Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, I like those. That's give me the Tootsie yeah, Rolls. Give... Uh, Man, they're bombarding us. That's yeah. going to knock somebody out. The kids are going nuts with all this candy. Wait, pardon me, you handle this. Who's got the Tootsie Rolls? Bring the Tootsie Rolls over. That's all right. That's Vandalia Rental, passing out tons of candy to everybody. So, uh, and we're all enjoying the parade. I want to thank Jim Booker, myself, Melissa Constantine. Yes, Melissa, thank you. Thank you for. Couldn't uh, find anybody better this year than me, huh? So you just what? You, you were number one on my list. Okay, well that's good to hear. Thank Someone you very paid much. me to say that. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me. Oh, more candy. We're getting candy. We're making out like bandits over Yeah, here. I'm going to have uh, a sweet tooth very soon. Look at so. that. My dentist would have a fit if he yeah. saw that. Look at that. Yeah. So, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in to us. Thanks to our volunteers. Now, yeah. look what's coming up here. Park and go. No, I've taken this before. I have too. Have you? Isn't that nice to it have, though? It is nice. Uh, when you... Uh, you know, can't find your uh, loyal friend or family to take you and pick you up. What time are you leaving? 5 a.m. and then oh, you take the yeah, thing. Yeah, I can't do that. So you yeah. can do the uh, park and go at the uh, Dayton Airport for 4.95 a day. But they expect you to take them. 
Exactly. So remind yeah. them that that vehicle, that park and go vehicle. Uh, uh, it's so funny go how that vehicle works is available. out. Say that three times yeah. fast. And we have the Vandalia Masonic Lodge coming up. With some gentlemen on the back waving uh -huh. and firing off candy. I think they're having fun throwing that candy. I mean, they're really throwing those things. Yeah, you know, we were talking earlier about scene 75 because yeah, we saw some of the uh, yeah. uh, go karts uh, that is out there. Um, that was ahead of them, but now here comes the uh, the bus. Wow, that's a party bus, isn't it? Uh, that would be fun to party on. Well, and Scene 75 is the largest indoor entertainment facility. Two bars serving 24 beers on tap. Laser tag, go karts, that's what I need to do. I want to go. Big bad, big bad bounce. Bounce, say that three times. Okay. Guys. Really something for every age. Very cool. Kid and adult, it really is. Well, it's a, it's yeah. a nice, it, and it's all air conditioned, it's just wonderful. Uh, scene 75, 120 arcade games. If they have Pac-Man, I will beat you in Pac-Man. You know, I gotta think about that. I'm not sure, but you know they have volleyball, they've got outdoor volleyball, and they didn't really do it right. You could spend a weekend there. We well, gotta go. Is this Stubby's Bar and Grill? Why be this Stubby's? They got great food. They do. Stubby's uh, right here at 722 West National Road. Now, do you like the bar or the grill part? I like the grill part. The bar part's nice, too. Yeah, they have some great food. Um, yeah, that must be their out, DJ. Yeah, it looks like they're giving out some uh, koozies and koozies. So maybe if we get one, we'll stop in there and uh, grab some dinner. Oh, that's from the Waffle House, folks. Coming up, Box 21. This is the oldest operating all-volunteer emergency service organization. No tax dollars support the operation of this group. And Located right across from uh, uh, Triangle Park there. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, Island Metro Park. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to thank them for all their service that they do. And they're great. They're, they're yeah. like the first on the scene with lights and a lot of people don't know what Box 21 does and they are a valuable service to yeah. uh, all of us here in the Miami Valley. And we have some more Corvettes. Yeah, it looks like we have the uh, Strawberry Festival Queen and Court coming up. Oh yeah, this is where I jumped the gun. That wasn't earlier, now it's happening. Yeah, now. and it's also a uh, Corvette Club. And the Strawberry Festival was yep. just the time we're, we're taping this, mm -hmm. uh, which is getting a shot of the uh, 2014, is that the Strawberry Queen? That is, that is uh, Haley Mollet. 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 It's got to be a French a deal. Caroline. Is that Elsa? Elsa I Smith. I think it's Elsa, isn't it? Elsa Smith. Oh, great. Is smiling. representing uh, surrounding counties, and they've been holding a charity raffle for new Corvettes each year wow. for the past 30 years, and contributed half a million dollars to <laughs> that find a plate. I'm sorry, the license plate said, will not. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Jayla, is that Leland, I believe? And uh, Matthew, I'm not sure. The uh, Little, Little Miss yeah, and Mr. Mr. Strawberry, Strawberry. and that was uh, Jayla Lee oh, of it. Covington and Matthew Waller. I apologize, George. Matthew, but the black strip was through your one L there. I couldn't make that out your is name. Great. And look, here's the pace car for the 79th edition of the Indianapolis 500. I don't know if you just saw that go by. rode in a pace car we're covering the story over there uh, oh, a couple days wow. before the 500 and I swear you thought they were going 20 80 miles an hour you look down they're going 120 it was really something to see on that track it was fun I could deal with a Corvette couldn't you I could deal with, it. with the top down and mm -hmm. I think it'll be my next car zero to 75 in about four seconds or something I could definitely uh, have a joy ride in that so and all uh, years here look at that Back to the 70s, 60s. Here's another official okay. base car coming up. I think you can see that. Does that say on there? Uh, His license plate oh. says Will Will. Will Will, and that's yeah. the 62nd annual. Yeah. Look at that pace car for the uh, 
Indianapolis yeah. 500. Hey, okay, we are here, 2014 Air Show Parade. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. This is good. This is the yeah. best seat in the yeah. house. You know, and uh, the weather is cooperating. It's not humid. It's not overly too hot. Right. It's just comfy. Well, you know, the air show used to be later in July, and they ran into so much heat that they moved it, and here we are in June having yeah. it. So. It's not going to be boiling hot. No, it won't be. It would be just. It won't be July no, hot. No, no, it won't be July hot. So we can uh, we can handle it because there's going to be forty thousand people, um, you know, at the air show. And there's probably twenty thousand here. Uh, oh, I would say on National All Road up watching. Up and down the route. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, coming up here is Fifth Third Bank. They are all over the Miami Valley, and they're right here in uh, Vandalia. Wait, keep it on them a lot. They have my mortgage. They have mine too. Okay, keep it on them. Mm -hmm. Fifth, we'd like to thank Fifth Third. I may be late for July's payment, <laughs> but just it's coming. It's in the mail. Did that help? You think? You know, I have mine automatically taken out. I just gotta make sure there's money in it's there. It's money. So. That's the problem. I got money a couple more Is weeks. There money in there? Yeah. Oh, and then speaking ah. of Oktoberfest, have you been? No, I've been up there. I've been up there. That is, a, and I don't think I remember coming back, but no. Yeah, I Mr. love Mr. Mr. Oktoberfest. The whole town shuts down, uh, and the whole town gets behind it. And they do. They do. Um, they have. Uh, they sell beer in um, half gallon yep. jugs. You know that? <laughs> and right here. Oh, is, really? I didn't know. <laughs> You know, Rocks, so, dogs, yeah, yeah. traditional German. Yeah. This track cover is so great. It's only, what, another 20 minutes from the heart of Vandalia? Yes. It's uh, Chelsea Stewart, so we uh, want to wish her uh, well. And we will be there. Is that October? Is that coming up? October 3rd. This track cover is so. You probably can't hear us right now. Yeah. It's an amazing experience and what he captured on camera too. It is great. It and they do great. a great job. Yeah. We definitely have to uh, check out the uh, first uh, biker, uh, biker church, Jackass Flats. Like Christ said, accept everyone for the way they are. Exactly. Right? It does not matter. I may have paraphrased that, but it's somewhere in there. <laughs> we'll still give you a plug. I'm looking for the Tootsie Roll. I can't get a Tootsie Roll over here. Uh, Premier Health. <laughs> That's okay. Give it. Throw it. Up. Oh, it got run over. Yeah. Well, coming up here is the uh, Good Samaritan Hospital and Good Sam North Health Center. They were established more than 80 years ago. Yeah. Is that something? Mm -hmm. And what a nice unit. Isn't that nice? I wonder if it's air conditioning. Can we go in and sit in it for a minute? <laughs> it just it started getting a little hot. <laughs> it was clearing up and then it started getting a little uh, hot again. But you yeah. know what's nice about this is they can come to you and, and, they, and they bring these units out and do blood pressure, uh, free blood pressure screenings. And it's mm -hmm. nice for a lot of people that can't get out to the hospital yeah. or do a little preventive mm -hmm. maintenance on yourself to find out something ahead of time before something big happens. So that's you know? great. A lot of hospitals are doing this. They should probably check my blood pressure right now, or maybe they shouldn't. But yeah, coming Look. up are uh, the it's Bear little, Valley swim team. Keep that. You're not allowed to. Yeah. No, that's good. You know, you have to have those kind of suits. You got to cut down on the drag and everything when you're swimming. I remember the Olympics a few years ago. Uh, uh, they had the one-piece suits, and the, the U.S. team did. And remember, they banned those. That's but right. They, Uh, as a what a coach for them he's a coach he's a dad he runs uh, the communications department at uh, Dayton Public Schools mm -hmm. and uh, Ken's a good guy he definitely is. I wonder how he looks in the speedo let's not even go there I don't want to go there you know though when I was on a swim team way back when that's all we had was speedo Hi. 
That wouldn't look good in the speed. Why am I on the speed up there? I don't know. That took well, that took a lot for those kids to walk exactly. in the speed. Exactly. Well, up coming up here is the uh, Waco. It is. You know, that's another place where they have some of the older planes uh, that's uh, on display. You can go anytime, but the uh, fly in's going to be in September. And of course, manufactured in Troy, Ohio, the double deck uh, biplane. St. John Lutheran Church is, uh, is up the street here on National Road, so thanks to them. And Rite Aid, I believe, is right next to uh, St. John's, Rite Aid Pharmacy. They uh, are opening up a new wellness center on July 5th from 12 to 4 on the corner of National Road in Dixie. I think they're handing out prescriptions. Are they allowed to do that? <laughs> no, that's not prescriptions. They're handing out candy. I think they're allowed to do that. That's illegal. We, you know, the kids are loving it with all the candy that they're getting. Yeah, their parents know. are going to love them tonight when they won't exactly. go to bed at midnight. So thank you for the candy. I'm glad I'm going home with no children there and I won't have to worry <laughs> yes, about it. I'm glad mine are at home. <laughs> So St. John Lutheran handing out, looks like, oh, they're handing out water bottles. Yeah, yeah, they could bring one over here. You know, a lot of churches are doing that now. They're doing, oh, bless your heart, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. You got any Tootsie Rolls? We're trying to score yeah, a Tootsie yeah. Roll. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you, though. <laughs> thank you for that. Yeah, St. John it. Lutheran just gave us some water, and That's they nice. are located at 122 West National. And they uh, welcome everyone uh, to uh, their church on Sunday. And sharing the water of life for over 150 years. Awesome. You know, our church, the Vineyard, does that at the downtown Dayton when they have the uh, Fourth of July fireworks. They hand out thousands of bottles. And no strings attached, yeah. they just hand out bottles. Yeah. Well, here's now, what, look at Cedar this. Springs Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe this couple uh, just uh, got married there recently. They are an outdoor oh, you guys. open facility situated off the beaten path. We didn't see it, but they just kissed. Well, hopefully they're married and they're allowed to do you that. You know, on the back of the car it says just married, so okay. congratulations. Great. They are, oh, look, they're uh, yeah. already fighting. Well, now, Melissa, we probably should just listen to this. Who is this? I think so, too. This is the uh, Dayton Young and Gifted Drill Team. Let's listen. I just said that. <laughs> I was never going to even say that this summer. I know, I yeah. swore that too after no. this past winter. No, but uh, ODOT uh, is all over the Miami Valley helping out our community. And there, of course, is the uh, abominable snowman from uh, the, the Rudolph the Red Nosed Ranger. Because yeah. Bumbles bounce! <laughs> and uh, Steve Ross getting a great shot of the trucks there. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Boy, I'm telling you, you get your money's worth on this parade, aren't you? You get your money's worth. You definitely are. There's there has to be over a hundred participants in uh, the Vandalia Air Show Parade. Now, you know... When they're 
not. Those are just for show, right? I think so. Because they wouldn't want to destroy those pretty paintings. Maybe it'd help make the uh, snow be plowed up and easier. But actually, we should applaud these guys for this past winter. Oh my goodness. You know, wow. That Thank is very you. true, yep. They earned their keep. First Grace. Yeah, it's a Brethren Church, and they are located on Stone Quarry Road. So they, uh, they would like to make sure that everyone is invited to their annual freedom celebration on Sunday, July 6th. Nice. It's 10 o'clock, so you come out uh, to their church. It's a free concert and also a free cookout. And they are going to be recognizing, uh, you know, our country and our veterans. Did you say free cookout? That's all I heard was free. No. We're there. And it's nice to see all the churches out. Yeah. And they do so much in the community, too. That is so true. First Grace uh, Brethren Church here in uh, Vandalia. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of a nice shot. Look at that. You can see the people. And... They've had a lot of older uh, or antique cars. Oh, yeah. Lots. Where are they putting all these? Are they in the back lot over here? I mean, whoever's organizing this parade is doing a great job. Well, we have to say kudos to uh, Linda and Will of the Vandalia Chamber of Commerce. They put all this together. They put all this together. They put all the information uh, for us together. And so we want to thank them and the city of Vandalia because they also helped uh, arrange our spot. Um, we've got uh, Rich Hopkins Communication. Oh, yeah, over there. Rich, you know Rich. Rich, of course. Yeah. Rich was in radio forever. Yep, yeah, he, uh, he helped us. Uh, Rich is a good guy. Yeah, he helped us get the, uh, the site here. Yeah, and if, if Rich, if you're watching, Melissa and I would like that T-Bird right there. Could you get us that? Okay, well, oh, wow. I guess. We have a lull in the action. <laughs> the first uh, Grace Brethren Church uh, has a battery dead on the car so around the van. So, so somebody needs to maybe, do we need to get out and direct traffic here? And maybe push the van? That's a good question, think, but this yeah. is where we're paid the big money to fill. Interesting. Well, I think they are. Oh, there are it goes. Oh, they're pushing. <laughs> here they are. Oh, you got to get a shot of this. Can we get a shot of this? To, uh, yeah, they're going to move Grab a in shot here. of this. Steve, so, where are you? Oh, that's they teamwork to, there. Uh, move our camera there a that's bit. teamwork. Yeah. Nice right. job, guys. Great. Nice job. Look at that. And the parade must go on. So that's the show. Uh, the show, the must, show must go, go on. on. <laughs> Very good, Melissa. That is a first ever hosting a parade. We got the T-Bird, you could see, uh, and now you're seeing a, what is that, a, a, is that a Corvair van? Could that be? Yeah. No, can it I've be? never seen one, but it does say Corvair on. Look at that. I didn't even know they made those. I'm going to get calls on that. I've never seen I don't one think I have either. Now, do you think somebody made that, or is that for, I have to look that, I have to Google. Yeah. Where's the Google? I got to Google. Interesting. Okay, I that should. I, I, if I if I had a wireless mic, I'd walk over there with him mm -hmm. and ask him. That is unbelievable. How cool is that? It kind of looks like the uh, the mystery machine in, mm -hmm. in Scooby Doo was painted up. That's right. Doesn't it? Yeah. I guess they did. I'll have to look that up. I'm sure someone will call me. Go to BookTVGuy.com. Go online and, and email me and say, Book. Of course, there's Corvairs. Yeah, you know, we got a moment. Book, uh, let's talk about how folks can get a hold of you. Yeah, they can do that. You know, I'm doing a lot of radio, TV commercials now. I'm writing. We're doing a lot of social media videos and doing some things for you guys, yep. which is nice. Diagraph Low Man and Schultz. So if you need me, just, you know, Book TV Guy. That's B U C H T V G Y dot com. You'll see some videos we're doing there and uh, check it out. Let me know what you yep. think. So thanks for the plug. Well, you're Here, welcome. And let me thank get you my again. wallet. Where's hey, my you'll wall? pay me later. I'll pay her later. But you know, Jim, uh, Jim's been involved with uh, DATV for many years, so he cannot uh, go away from us no. for too long. No, it's in your, it's in my blood, it's in exactly. my DNA. See, when you become involved with DATV, it, we get in your blood, and you stay with us forever. And uh, and you train people to go on to other things because exactly. I learned so much that I went into the broadcasting business mm -hmm. from what I learned at DATV. And you, there's tons of people that have done that. Steve exactly. Raw, I mean. 
so. lot of our uh, local uh, camera guys and uh, newscasters have uh, gone on uh, to our local stations or moved on to other uh, states. Other cities, so yeah, yeah. yeah. So has taught a lot of people along. There you go. And it's some movie makers that have come through, too, and made exactly. some independent films. And now, no. the Vandalia police is here. Now, oh, actually, I need to hide because I have a... Yeah. Well, I think they're here because <clears throat> they're pretty much... Um, about the time of the parade's uh, I know, but I'm ending. my car's illegally, never mind. And so at any rate, that was a wonderful parade. That was. And uh, we want to thank, thank the crew again. The crew we did have, a heck of yeah, a job. Yeah. We have Nick uh, Schusler, James Scott, Chuck Summerlin, Rusty, I am going to say Rusty's name wrong, but thank you, Rusty, and Bill Miller, and uh, our staff, Steve and Eric, uh, along with myself, Melissa. And Jim Booker, and, Jim Booker. And, and thank you, Melissa, for a lot of fun. And if you're in the Vandalia area every year, remember, it's the Friday before the air show. Come out and see the parade. And thanks yeah. for having me. This has been a lot okay. of fun. Thank you. Um, thank everyone for coming out and watching. And uh, stay tuned to DATV. We are on City of Dayton, Riverside, Butler Township right. on Channel 5. We are also, uh, just recently, we are also on Channel 5. Or Channel 6 and Channel 23, DATV can yeah, be congratulations seen. Congratulations on that. Yeah, That's it's great. Right. Now we're going all over the Miami Valley with um, our public access DATV channel. Here, give me the camera, so Steve, before we sign off. You know, off. it's great. Let me have the camera before yeah. you sign off. Well, this reminds me of my old days. So Melissa, say goodbye. Take that shot. Okay. Can you take that shot? This okay. shot. There we go. Say goodnight, Melissa. Good night. All right. Hey, and uh, take care. Have a good night. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Yeah, that's good. How you doing?